Okay, the idea with this problem is that we have nine months of a school year. Each of those months, the parents are going to pay tuition for their kid. And now we need to account for all of those nine months, and we need to also factor in that there will be nine grades, K through eight. And then each grade has three classrooms. So what we are essentially doing, what we want to achieve, is if we're, imagine if we're printing off like uh, little receipts, little coupons that we hand out, you know, and each one is going to display the month, the grade, the classroom, and the tuition. So ultimately we're going to end up with 243 of these little coupons. Um, so that's the whole idea there. The uh, tuition is going to be, you, you figure out the tuition by what grade the student is in. And we're going to get crazy with for loops because of that. <laughs> so you can sort of look over the pseudocode there. Um, I will say that one thing uh, that's a little bit different, I, the, the tuition for kindergarten is 80 $80 a month, but the tuition for every other grade is $50 times what, uh, whatever grade number they're in. So first grade, you know, 50 times 1 is 50. It's kind of odd that first grade is going to be less than, or yeah, kindergarten, but that's just the way it goes. But this number here, 50, for that, that number you'll use, that's different in the book, so make sure you change that. Uh, let's go over to the flow chart. You can see how insane it is. We're going to have start and our dec uh, declarations here, all of our variables. And we've got one for the tuition for kindergarten, one for the tuition for every other grade. And then we need one for the grade they're in, the month we're in, the classroom they're in, and then I in order to cycle through the for loops. So if you come down here, we're going to start with going through the months. We're going to start on month one and then we're going to go to grade zero and you know um, whatever classroom they're in is next. And then we'll enter that and now we'll say if grade is zero then we're going to output all the information and the only thing that's different is kindergarten tuition. And we'll go back up around you know do every classroom for kindergarten outputting this one right here and then we'll go back up and around and check for the grade again. The grade will be one this time around so we'll go classroom one and now every time we come through here we'll be doing this one. So only when we do kindergarten does this one get output. Every other time we're gonna go through here because it's gonna be tuition times the grade level. And then we keep going around for each grade and then we come back do month two go through all the loops again um, and until we finish and we stop. So it's just a big mess of spiral action going there. And maybe I, I remember somewhere that you didn't want to go more than three loops deep, but I really don't know. It's up to you. If you want to make a program that goes like five deep and see how that works, it might have issues, it might not. Not really sure. Somebody, I think I remember vaguely one time somebody saying it's not a good idea, but not really entirely sure. So you can see the program up here. Um, same idea. And we've got all this loop action going on here. We're checking for the grade being kindergarten. Otherwise, we're going to do this. And then incrementing our I there. Let's make sure we did that here as well. And does not look like that was in the pseudocode here. Yeah, and I believe that that is necessary, so I step one. I think that all should be correct now. So, yep, let's go ahead and run it and check this out. There's no inputs for this either, so we can see, yeah, let's scroll to the bottom. 243 of these and you can see that we've got the same tuition 
it's going to be, you know, 300, 400, 250, 150, 150, 80, and then 400, the same, you know, it's just the same set of numbers. You know, coupon 1, month 1, grade 0, class 1, class 2, class 3. And you can see where the months start to change, grades start to change. So a lot of those little coupons for each parent. But the only thing that really just gets really kind of crazy is putting these for loops up. And other than that, it's, you know, not too difficult, but it is kind of a little bit to handle there. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.